scrapbookers, welcome to March 2015 and the first layout of Calvin Ball. So I, um, if you have questions about Calvin Ball, go to getitscrapped.com. Um, I'm Katie Scott and I make, uh, I'm on the Get It Scrapped creative team, but I make real-time scrapbook videos where I tell you about what I'm doing on the scrapbook page, but I also just ramble on about stuff going on in my life and you know, what movie I watched last night and stuff like that. So it's just think of me as your virtual scrap buddy. And um, yeah, so this is the page that I'm going to be making today. And I used old photos of my Nana. And then I also use, I've been making these little kits, like, you know, embellishment pack kits. And then also I've got different kits that are pattern paper. So then I'll just grab one, like, I'll grab one, embellishment pack and one um, pattern paper pack and then I can just keep mixing those up so the kits are going to always feel pretty fresh you know so I can mix and match and I think that's exciting <laughs> um, yeah so this is the first page of Calvin Ball um, 2015 um, so go get your photos and your scrapbook supplies and get ready to do some scrapbooking uh, along with me and then um, if you make a page go post your layout over at um, over at get it scrapped um, it's open to anyone it's um, paper scrapbookers and um, digital and you don't have to be a member to participate in Calvin Ball um, yeah it's gonna be a fun month so get your scrap on okay go get your stuff and we'll get started Hi scrapbookers, um, it's Katie Scott and it's been a long time since I scrapbooked. I went on a vacation up to um, New Hampshire and I saw Debbie Hodge while I was up there, which was a lot of fun. And it really was. She is an amazing host and she made us a cake like every day we were up there with this book that she called The Cake Doctor and my kids are obsessed with that. <laughs> um, so we had a really good time, lots of snow. Um, so I'm waiting to get my photos back but in the meantime I thought I would um, some scrapbook, some bathing suit pictures of my Nana or yeah, my grandmother who we called Nana. And I pulled more, I pulled out more products than I will probably use. But I'll just show you what I pulled out. I pulled out my ThermoWeb sticky dots because I'm always looking for those. And I do have some things that are already in there. Um, I pulled out just some random sticker sheets, this basic gray, um, waterfall pack which has a camera motif there's a camera in there and I think I do want to use that on the page and I pulled out these transparencies from uh, crepe paper which I thought looked really cute and I have them and I haven't used them yet I thought that would be fun um, the bunch of letter stickers that I bought recently and I've been using a lot recently um, so that's I've got all that stuff so yeah, like way more stuff than I need, but I'm not gonna go beyond um, this stuff. <laughs> Famous last words, right? And then I picked two embellishment packs. So before I left on my trip, um, I did, um, I packed up a bunch of things in pattern paper packs and then also embellishment packs. And so the embellishment packs would have like sort of a theme or just be one manufacturer. So this is probably mostly October afternoon and this is mostly, um, this is mostly my mind's eye called now and then, but it looks like I've got some other things that kind of, <clears throat> some project life things that kind of, um, this, maybe the colors I thought worked pretty well together. So I'll be pulling from those probably. And I picked one letter sticker sheet just because I had it near my desk and why not? And then I also pulled this paper pad, which I didn't put in a kit because it was already in a paper pad. And I liked this because it, um, yeah, I, it has that retro feel to it. And I tell you what, I almost instantly I'm thinking to myself, I don't have any place to do any journaling. So that might be a pro that's the one piece of paper that maybe I should pull that I didn't pull. So I'm just going to pull from 
So I made a bunch of packs like this or in, in different types of plastic envelopes. And so I don't want to pull from this whole pack, but I do want to pull something that I can write on. Um, so I can, that's light enough that I can write on it. And it works color wise. I think a mint is a really great color for older photos. So I'm not going to get into the rest of that. I just, I found it. <laughs> Let's just use that. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing this month of March is Calvin Ball. So that's very exciting. Um, if you have questions about Calvin Ball, go over to Get It Scrapped and look in the forums. And um, you can learn all about it over there. But basically it's to make as many photo or as many scrapbook layouts as you can during the month of March. I'm just reorganizing this stuff just a tiny bit um, so I can get my cutter closer to my workspace. So I'm going to give myself the goal, instead of just trying to compete with Celeste, <laughs> so Celeste Smith is one of the kind of the creators of this Calvin ball and she also, um, and I'm going to keep just a revere bowl on my desk. I love these bowls and they will just, I think you can see me. Ah, uh, there I am. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to keep this on my, one for bigger and one for smaller so that as I'm working, if I have extras, I'm just going to throw them into these little bowls because I do like to have kind of just something I can rifle through real quick. The other thing I keep on my desk is this um, little bin. It has small letter stickers. It has um, scissors, some washi tapes, and adhesives. It also has like the exacto knife thingy. And the other thing right on my desk is just a little, I use that like a trash can. So you ready to get started? Dun, 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 the first, the first, uh, <laughs> The first, what do you want to call it, of Calvin Ball, the first layout of Calvin Ball. Woohoo! So, um, yeah, I recorded um, the Digi Scrap Geek podcast um, very recently. So, I, I immediately think, I don't know what my, um, my layout design is going to be, but I think it's going to be something like this, like some sort of band, and then... Um, maybe this is like paper clip to the top somehow. And I'm going to need to trim those photos, but it's going to be difficult because the, um, there's writing from the original scrapbook here. And so that just makes it a little difficult, but I think that's where the, the papers are going to go. I instantly think that I want to back this because it's pretty flimsy paper, but I do like it as a background. So let's look here and what I'm instantly thinking is going to be the best bet is that striped paper. Where is it? This one here. And so one of the things, um, so Calvin Ball, yeah. It's to do as many layouts as possible, and I think one benefit of that is that it makes you kind of go as fast as you can. And so normally I would do things like try to save some of that paper in the middle. I'm not going to do any of that this month, and hopefully. <laughs> and I'm also going to, um, what was I going to say? I'm going to, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, just try to get as much as I can scrapped. So I think the layout is going to go something like this. Yep, okay. So I'm going to cut this one down to, let's do 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Yeah, so I, was, I started to say, and then I stopped saying it, that I um, did the Digi Scrap Geek podcast. And so I'm just going to cut these in half just to rip them in half, these little strips, because I expect that I'll accumulate a whole bunch of them, and then I eventually will make them into a layout, or put them in the donate pile. Okay, stopped. Stop getting off topic. 
So <laughs> it's uh yeah. So I did this DG Scrap Geek podcast, and I it just went. It was so much fun, and it went by so fast. And I didn't even get to the chance to gush over Stacy Julian, who was like the other guest. So <laughs> that was really exciting because I've been a big fan of hers for a long time. Um, I think I want to stitch this. I think I think. So I might just pause you for a second there while I stitch around the edge of that. Do I want to stitch? I kind of do want to. But I also think maybe time-wise, maybe I shouldn't. But there we go with that. I like that. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back. So I guess I don't, since you might be watching this before the podcast goes up, I won't tell you the subject of the podcast. But it was way fun. It went by really fast. I think that Carrie Eric has done such an amazing job of, um, you know, really getting to getting <laughs> that whole podcast process down. I can only imagine how much work it is because I don't rehearse these videos that I do, um, my scrapbooking videos. I do them in real time and... They're not rehearsed, and I don't have to have any guests. Like, there's no pre-planning there. Um, so I kind of want the photos to go something like this. This way. And so when I do that, when I get that notion, I just want to stick it down. But yeah, I've talked to... So I've talked to Stacy before, mostly in her classes at Big Picture when she has like a live chat. So I have like talked to her where there's been a chat, but I haven't like talked to her where we've been in the same conversation. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but I feel like I was, <laughs> I don't know, I get so excited about the topic that we were talking about that I, I wrote a message to Carrie afterwards and I was like, I think I talked like way too much. Sorry about that. Um, I just couldn't just couldn't stop myself. So I kind of want to like trim this and then trim this because it's just too much black space there. So I hope I don't regret this. I might. Okay. And I'm just freehand cutting this as you can see. And then maybe I'm going to cut this one too. So they're a little bit consistent there. So these are photos of photos. And they're from a scrapbook that my Nana's sister made for her. Okay, so I sort of kind of want to trim this one down so it looks more like a square. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. And then maybe I'll move... So I'm going to start moving <laughs> moving stuff around even though I have this pick it and stick it philosophy. Sometimes um, it's good to just mix it up just a little. I don't know, maybe I liked it more before. Which is the other reason you shouldn't. <laughs> which is a good reason not to go messing with it. But I think I do. I kind of want to something like this and then this is going to be smaller okay but I'll just gush now I'm still a huge fan of Stacy Julian I think she's so smart and um, she is I, I'm actually I, I want to be optimistic about the big picture classes but honestly it's kind of like when she left for me it's a little bit like when she left simple scrapbooks like her she really I you know I still liked it but I didn't it wasn't exactly the same for me afterwards so I'll be interested to see what she does next um I kind of think that she's gonna gonna just become like a speaker you know <laughs> just travel around and 
Uh-oh, did I throw away this part? I mean, I don't know that. I'm just guessing. Um, yes, I did. Okay. So, yeah, I should have gushed more, but I didn't. Oh, well. I did, I was kind of, um, when we did the episode, um, I had just gotten, like, the whole morning I had been doing, um, homeschooling math with my son, and it was like the second day that I ordered a bunch of algebra books, and so it kind of starts out with, um, it starts out with, Oh, where do I want this? Maybe those two are together. I don't know. I don't know if those go there. I do sort of like this, but I'm not loving it. So what was I going to tell you? I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah, why I didn't have enough time to get nervous. I, uh, so I spent the morning before the podcast kind of, um, having my husband, um, make sure that, you know, Skype was working properly and all of that. And then, so I was getting that done and then doing, you know, algebra. And my, it was the second day of these new books that I had ordered. And my son is like, oh, you know, mom. Don't you know that um, if I go to sleep after I do math, then I don't remember it the next day. And I was like, grrr. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, I think that I'm a little bit, he thinks I, he's like, I never did, had to do this much math in school. And so I kind of think that maybe I am a little bit more, demanding <laughs> that because I was also talking to one of the moms this week and and she said how she had homeschooled her kids for a while and she was like well how long does it take you you know she said that she used to do it from like 10 to 1 and I was like three hours oh no 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 we're like six to eight hours <laughs> or you know we're we're really doing a lot more time than that and that part of it is my son kind of um takes a little while to focus, but also like, I just feel like there's so much to cover, you know, there's a lot of stuff. So our, I'm still enjoying it, but it does take a lot of time. Um, I am a little worried about me and Calvin Ball because I really haven't, since we started homeschooling, I haven't had a lot of time to scrapbook um, or really do anything else. <laughs> Um, like take a shower or, you know, it's, we, we went on this trip for 10 days, but other than that, like it's been really, um, really, really busy. Okay. So I like this as my general arrangement for the page. And then I think what I want is, um, uh, maybe something that comes out like this. So I'm going to have to like sort of tuck it in and then something that kind of goes under here and then the title will be here and then my journaling might go somewhere in here. So there you go. Let's get started with all of that. I feel like I need... um more than this kind of stuff, I probably need I like this though this thing photo love because that's kind of the topic it's like the of this story so I skip around a lot in what I talk about depending on what I'm doing and how much concentration I need on the page so the thing about some of these videos is that um, I start a lot of conversations that I never finish. <laughs> it happens. Um, yes, it does. So, these need to 
go down just a little bit to fit that on there. So yeah, the story of this page is like how my great aunt Mabel, who made the scrapbook and probably like took a lot of these pictures, um, really liked um, she liked you know, taking pictures and scrapbooking just like me. And then my sister and her sister didn't, you know, don't like to have their picture taken. Right? That um, figures, huh? Okay. Not sure exactly where the that should go, but I really like that, and I like the oops motif there. Oops, I'm ten minutes, so hold on. Yeah, so one of the things I'm going to have to um, do in Calvin Ball is get faster with my video scrapbooking because a lot of times I think that it takes me longer to make. Um, It takes me longer to make a page when I'm doing it with making videos. Okay, so I like this idea of the yellow. Oh, I kind of like that a little better, a little bit less obvious. And then this might give me some space to do a little bit of journaling. Maybe go like this. Okay, I'm liking that so far. But yeah, the story of this page is how my sister like super hates to have her picture taken. And apparently so did my Nana. Even when she was like she was always thin, like young and beautiful, and I don't know why. If I was like all tall and thin like her, <laughs> there'd be a lot more selfies, right? <laughs> like way more selfies. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do this March is I need to lose some weight still. I need to get some more exercise, make some more pages, get some more exercise, and, um, you know, Get the algebra done, but maybe be a little bit less. I don't know. I, I feel like if I'm not demanding with him and the algebra, that it's just not going to happen. So I really have to. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Smile. That's cute. But I, I feel like that smile is a 70s thing, and these were from the 40s, so I don't feel like those really... Um, I like this little thing, Snapshot. That's cute. So... But I feel like I need a little bit of yellow. And I want something here that's going to make that title go. <laughs> Get rid of that. So I try to keep up a constant amount of chatter during these videos, but yeah, I, um, <laughs> I have a tendency to talk too much. It, you know, it's a flaw. <laughs> and I try to temper that like most of the time in life, but like sometimes like this one morning when I was up at Debbie's, I just was like, blah, 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 blah. And I think she was like, she was trying to get ready for some friends to come and I just kept blabbering my head off. I think I kind of bugged her. And then, 
And then with the um, that podcast, I feel like I was like, la, 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 like I just get so excited. I have to, I really have to kind of reel it in. <laughs> but that's another thing with the sisters, right? So one time when my um, my aunt was with my sister and I, she was like, you know, you cut your sister, you know, afterwards she told me, she's like, you know, you talk so much that you don't give your sister a chance to talk. And I was like, I don't, <laughs> seriously, like, I don't, didn't, um, kind of, I don't know. I didn't think that was the deal, but it probably is, you know. I'm a pain in the ass. I wonder. I, I would I would guess my sister would say, yeah, I talk too much. She even put this thing on Facebook <laughs> that was like, um, you know, we all have that one sister who's like all outspoken. And um, it was like this little girl giving the finger. And she was like, oh yeah, I got one like that. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? But um, yeah, she probably... I know I annoy her, but I kind of, it's a good natured and delight in it. Like, I love her. <laughs> and I'm a, like, it's the same with my kids. I'm quite all right with totally annoying them. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so there's, no, I like that it's yellow. Okay, come on, Katie. Speed it up. So yeah, on the podcast, I hope it comes out good and I hope I didn't talk too much because I, it was one of those times where you're like, oh, blah, 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 and then it's over, and then you're like, oh, shit, did I, <laughs> oops, I shouldn't have said shit, um, but did I talk too much, and um, I think I might have, I don't think I'm going to get that in there, that photo love. All right, so I already feel like my speed is not um, all that great, but I'm just getting back into it. And also, also, ooh, there's some of those hearts. Let's pull those out. They're not the same brand, but I think they match pretty well. So I'm just going to cut it right out of the um, package like this. Because I've got a heart here, so I think I'll put one like somewhere up here. And all right, like up here, maybe. Something like that. And then one more. There's a bigger one. Oh, here's life. Huh. There's also one, that, a little sticker right here that says beauty, which I think could really be applicable because I think that my sister and my aunt, or my grandmother, here were kind of like, you know, they get self-conscious about what they look like, but they're really beautiful. But I do too, but I don't let that stop me from taking pictures. So I'm going to try, the beauty doesn't really go with all of this. But somehow I want it in there anyways. Let's see if we can get it in there. So it's kind of a dreary day here. No, that's not gonna work. So where does this then go? <laughs> Probably back in here because it, it really matches all this stuff. But if I had used up more of this, I might have put it in one of those review bowls. Okay, so 
Yep, I don't need any more of that. Do I want any of this? No. Nope. Well, I can't believe how long this is taking me. Hold on. <laughs> so I think I'm probably going to be back up to an hour with um, how fast do I get these done. But I will get faster as time goes on with this. I will, I will increase my speed. Um, so I just think I want one more little something over here. Like with this yellow, you know. Maybe like this. Something like that. I don't know. And I also think these October afternoon stickers that I had from over here that were just kind of laying out and not in anything can maybe go in with the October afternoon stuff and I think that's going to be a good thing to do. Okay, so that's good. But I'm going to put that stuff away. And where on earth, oh there was the, this is where that other camera was, but I don't necessarily need it now. But now I'm starting to think about the title. I don't think I like this. I like the yellow, but I don't like that it's off-white. Usually I don't care too much about that. But um, these are white, and that's... They're whiter, I guess I should say. Let me just find something better for there that's yellow. Maybe just this little bit at the bottom. It's not my favorite photo. It's just photo. Okay, so I think the title is kind of going to come from this little photo thing and to say and now I know where my sister gets her photo aversion. Okay, yes. That's a long title, huh? <laughs> or maybe just photo shy. Does that make more sense? And take up less space. So I kind of want that to be going all the way off the page. I just wanted a little bit of yellow here, maybe even over the photo. Something like this. Oh, I just don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Too much fidgeting. That's what I'm doing. Too much fidgeting.
So one of the things I say in these videos is pick it and stick it. And honestly, it's just as much for me as <laughs> for anybody else. Because I, um, yeah, I can just fiddle with something for a long time. And what I've kind of, I mean, I think that there's some scrapbookers who are very precise. And, you know, everything is really well thought out. And, you know, like I, like Lisa Dickinson kind of comes to mind with that. And everything looks really good <laughs> but and maybe she fiddles I don't, although I don't think she does but um, maybe it's a good thing that she fiddles but um, but I don't um, think that it benefits me at all to be so fiddly So that's why I think pick it and stick it is a good little mantra for me. Like, just get it, get it done, come on. And that's really what Calvin Ball, you know, a lot of Calvin Ball is all about. Just getting, getting a bunch of photos, you know, scrapbooked. And it's just a great time to kind of let go of some of that little perfection. Even if you, you know, don't have a lot of that. Like I don't feel like I have a lot of perfectionist tendencies, but yeah, I can... Can do some upset, you know, like overly. I can definitely do a little too much worrying about where stuff is going to go, which I am doing now. So, how am I going to put that on there? So this is in my, um, this is in Aunt Mabel's handwriting. I might just go right over some of this. And then these will go Okay, I'm not loving this, but I also am just getting a little bit annoyed with myself and wanting to get it done. So what else can I tell you? That's my fun thing to say. <laughs> um, man, oh man. more adhesive because I have picked it and sticked it <laughs> like one too many times. Maybe here. Oh, I kind of hate that. Oh, and I don't even think you were in the frame. I'm sorry. So my videos are more like you should, um, a lot, I think I'll just leave it there. Um, you should do scrapbooking along with me. Instead of like, this isn't really a video for, you know, watching a technique. It's more like watching how I can work through the process and keep on going. And, um, so there, and, and this is why I like working with, um, you know, reproductions is you can go right over the photo and not feel bad about it. Whereas if these were original photos, I would never do that. Okay, photo shy. 
And then um, now, what else do I kind of want to do here? I think I sort of want to add some little strips of pattern paper. So maybe I'm going to go into these like already, right? Just little bits. Maybe not that one. But I'm thinking that that might be kind of cute to do just little, little strips behind some of these. Yeah, I gotta pick up my speed here. <laughs> I'm, um... I'm never going to get through Calvin Bell if it goes like this. So I do like the look of that. And I thought I would have more paper strips in here before I started going into them, but oh well. I don't. Oh, long video. 11 minutes, girl. Alright, hold on. And I'm back. So this is probably going to be an hour, so... Totally annoyed with myself. And here comes somebody. Who could it be? It's my Charlie. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back and my husband came in. I think he's bored out of his head. He doesn't know what to do with himself because the weather isn't nice today. He's like, well, I already went over to my mom's and installed her lights and I already went to the yard sale and... Um, already, you know, like he just doesn't know what to do with himself. Um, anyways, I should probably entertain him more. Um, <laughs> but I'm trying to get some of these done. Um, and we'll do some fun stuff later. But, um, okay, so I moved this, which wasn't awesome, but I did do my journaling and I added the little strips. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this should go maybe here. I don't know. This is the this is the like picky and little stuff that kind of annoys me. Makes me impatient with myself. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll just leave it like that. Um so these were the notes that um Mabel made and I I don't know if I did this. I think I did that well. We were still rolling. Um, so the title is Photo Shy, and then the journaling says, It seems my great aunt Mabel and I had a sister thing in common. Mabel made this scrapbook for my Nana, Ruby, in her note, and in her notes made it clear that Nana didn't like to have her photo taken. Hold on, I'm just going to dot an eye there. A lot like my own sister, Jenny. Mabel and I probably just want to our sisters to know that they are beautiful and that we love them. And it is so funny because my sister too is very beautiful and um, very tall and thin and <laughs> or you know thinner than I am. <laughs> and I was like I don't know what they're so self-conscious about like you should be like thrilled. But um, yeah they just let me just see if I can add this little bit here and then I'll be done. I think I can. Um, I think I can, but I don't think it looks good. Let's see if it looks a little bit better like that. Yeah. Yeah, so Charlie's just, like roaming around the house like nothing to do. It's a funny age that the kids are because, you know, I think I've mentioned this before, like, you know, we've got to be here. Um, you know, you can't just leave them alone. Um, but they don't really want to hang out with us anymore. They want to, like, you know, hang out with each other, which is great. Or, um, you know, just hang out in their rooms or one of them, Mac has a friend over, so that's nice. Um... But yeah, they don't really want to, they don't think we're as cool as we used to be. <laughs> you know? 
we used to be much cooler. Try to tell them like, you know, when you were little, we were so much cooler and we're still the same. <laughs> we're still, it's just your perspective on us has changed. Okay, so can we get anything else on here? Do we need to? Probably not, but why not? Let's just try. These, um, even though there's no glasses in these photos, I think it might be cute to just tag that in under here just because it's um, kind of like the 40s. That reminds me of the 40s. I like that little detail. And then this one says, a smile for the camera, which I think is pretty funny. Because they just, <laughs> they just don't want to smile for the camera. Just add that in maybe like this. I don't think that helped. Oh, that kind of is stuck down though. Hold on. I don't want it to be like totally sticking up, you know. I want it to smush down as much as I can make it smush. And then I'm gonna cut off the bottom part to maybe use it on something else on the layout. I don't know if I can, I don't think that was actually helpful. <laughs> but we'll see. No, not really. It kind of turned out so small that it doesn't help. Well, a little. Meh. Yeah. I don't think that really helped at all. Um, let's see what else we can put on there, cram on there. Um, maybe this little strip of stars. No, I think I'm just, I think this really doesn't go there though. It doesn't fit there very good. Let me see if I can get it over this way a little bit more. Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. that works either. I swear, I don't know why I'm so bent on wanting to get this on here, but I kind of am. <laughs> like, let's get it on here. Let's see if it... Isn't that funny how sometimes we just kind of go, I'm going to get this thing on here, and then <laughs> it doesn't really... It's not really needed and it doesn't really work, but we still try to cram it on there anyways. Do you do that? I do that. Let's see if that works. Uh, it's a little awkward, but I'm going to leave it. It is a little awkward. I will totally acknowledge that. So is this. I don't know why I want to get this thing on here. All right, let's just put this away. And then my other thought is maybe I should use um, I like to say who it is and there's no caps here. That's funny, huh? 
on this hay kid. There's no caps. That's weird. Seems like you should have capital letters. All right, so we're going like way, way over the um, acceptable amount of time with this sort of thing. Uh huh. Okay, I, I don't like this. Blah. Do wish, maybe, where can I get? Maybe Ruby can go down here. Like just right over the photo. My, yeah, my husband came in and said it looked like his mom. And it does, because it's like from that same time period. Looked a lot like her. She's also one who doesn't like to have her picture taken. And has no reason to not want to have her picture taken. What's up with that? <laughs> I was editing my photos from the ski trip. And my son came in and kind of was watching me do it. And... I um, removed some wrinkles from my forehead, and he goes, oh, mom, you got to do more than that. <laughs> like, sometimes I'll blur out the little ones that are, you know, the the ones that Botox fix, basically, you know, the, um, the ones that are between your eyebrows that kind of make you look mad, even though you're not mad. So my husband would go, why are you upset? I'm like, I'm not mad. I just need more Botox. And it's pretty expensive. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Botox does work like magic. I will say that. I just, it, um, you know, if I could spend the money, though, on a ski trip versus on a temporary wrinkle fix, i choose the ski trip. But wish that I had. <laughs> I do wish I had it. I won't lie. I uh, enjoy it when I get it. I haven't had it for over a year. I kind of miss it. It's time. It is time. Like the next time I get a little spending money, that's uh, that's gonna be my thing to get. So I would like this to be all the way down, but I don't see anything that really is going to help with that letter. I'm trying to see if a comma will help. That's a weird letter. It's a, a weird little configuration there. Alright, it's not really... I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I sort of also want to write um, somewhere in here, it said 1941, and then I covered that up. So let's 1941 as well and then I will stop talking and the video will be done 1941 okay maybe right here or maybe I don't know do I want it to be right there or not It, this is these are very difficult letters to work with which may explain why I've had them for a while and have not used them oh well all right people expect a lot more videos this month the month of March 2012 or 15 hold on just a sec 12 because that um <laughs> my the thing on the uh, YouTube showed me that this was 12 minutes long. Oh, and I never even used these. Let's see if we should use these. Now that we're like, you know, going so long anyways. Why not? Open these up and... Well, that's funny. They have this at the top, but there's nothing in there. That's odd. Like, why would they make two clamshells when the top one has nothing in it? think it's weird. So everything is in the bottom one. That's no big, you know, 
that's great, but it's just a little strange to me that they would make two of those clamshells when they really didn't need to. Weird. Hold on. Okay, so I like to keep these little things to show what's in there, you know, for a certain amount of time, sometimes. Oh, maybe this was in the top. Was it? I don't know if it was or not. So can I use this? I'm also doing that thing where I fiddle too much. It takes too long. It's all right. Kind of, oh, that really sticks to the, um, whatever that's called, transparency. No, I don't think that really helps any. I probably should have just stopped. Let me see. I don't think that helps either. So we'll just go down the line here. Um, I don't even know what that is. Huh. These are interesting. I think they'll be a little challenging for me to use because I kind of think they're, I don't know. Like, I really do want to use them. Let me get that in there. Because we have this heart thing going. Oh, my layers are really lame. Yeah, I don't think this is helping any. I'm really just trying to see if I can do it. I don't know what, all of a sudden there's a whole lot of music coming. I don't know if that's like my husband or, or what. So he had a, um, that's kind of cute though. I do like that. That could go maybe right there. Let's cut that in half. And then, because I kind of messed up the background paper there a little. Oh, I do. Yeah, that's that's working there. So I'm going to adhere that kind of underneath. I don't know if he just started playing loud music outside or what, but I all of a sudden hear all this loud music. Um... I don't know. Anyways, he was gonna start playing in this band on Saturday nights and he did it a couple nights. He did it while we were gone. And then, um, I guess he didn't really like the owner of the club for some reason. And so he's not gonna do it. He didn't think she was friendly enough to him. And I was like, really? Like, why does that? Don't let that bother you. Like, maybe she's just busy. Like, I don't care. <laughs> if I'm doing it, I want <laughs> everybody to be friendly. I was like, okay. All right, then. <laughs> I thought that was kind of silly. Kind of funny. Just, I'm, just like a weird little... Like, it's funny because not everybody thinks he's the friendliest guy that ever lived. So, I thought it was kind of funny that he was like... Well, they weren't friendly enough for me, for my taste, so screw that. <laughs> but on the subject of him and music, I've had, um, so while I was gone on the ski trip, um, there was somebody put on their Facebook, like, you know, music really makes all the parts of your brain really light up, and so I sent that to him and then I'd like to get him to teach my son so 
some music. I think he tried when my son was real little, and that just didn't really work out very, very well. Um, is that? I feel like that should go over just a tiny bit. Oh gosh, just to be picky about it, I'll just move it over here. Um, yeah, the adhesive I have is not ideal. So I'm going to blame that on what's slowing me down here. It's not me, you know. It's the adhesive. Maybe just a little bit over. Picky, picky, picky. You can't be picky in Calvin Ball if you want to get a lot done. So that's going to be a little impediment for me. I need to... Stop being so picky and stop wondering, like, it's got to be him, the music. Like, I feel like, you know, when you're in college and, like, you know, I was next to the sports guy dorm. And then, like, you know, <laughs> it started out, like, just on the weekends, there'd be, like, bass thumping. But then, like, you know, pretty much... From two, you know, then it got to be Thursday night included, and then it was kind of like to the Wednesday night and Tuesday night, just about every night was a loud thumping time for those boys in Berkeley. <laughs> They're on Facebook now too. It's so funny to, it's so funny that you get to see all of your, you know, all these different people from your life. Um, That you wouldn't, like without Facebook and that sort of thing, you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Do I want to add this? Sort of. I sort of do. Do I? Um. Yes. The answer is yes, I do. So I haven't finished that Amy Poehler book yet. And I even missed the season finale of Parks and Rec. I need to like look that up on YouTube or something. I haven't really watched it in the last couple of years though, I gotta say. Like, I was recording it for a while and then, like I just wasn't really watching it, so. You like that? No. Yeah, way too picky at this point. But now I'm just sort of like doing that. I'm having fun with it. And I don't want to stop talking to you. And I, <laughs> I kind of like this. One more heart. Yeah, it'll do. Can you see that? I'll tell you what's a little helpful about making these videos is I can look and see, can you see it? You know, like, does it make sense on the page? And I think it does because then you get this visual triangle of that transparency looking stuff. So we'll leave that in there. And I'm just... Adhesively challenged right now. I think what happened with this is these little stickies got onto a tape roll. I need to um, replenish my adhesives for this Calvin Ball thing. Here we go. All right. I think I'm going to call it done now. Done. Ta-da. It's done. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Thank you for watching. Adios. Goodbye.